Number 10. Tenkantan Airport in Honduras was ranked as the second most dangerous airport in the world by the History Channel's Most Extreme Airports show. Its approach is considered one of the toughest in the world. Like some of the others on this list, the airport is situated in mountainous terrain. While its single runway, at a bit under 7,100 feet, is longer than most on this list, it is still very short because as an international airport, it was serving large aircraft. That was until May 30th, 2008, when Airbus TACA Flight 390 overran the runway and into a nearby street. Five souls were lost that day in the incident, including two on the ground. Number 9. Courchevel is an airport serving the Courchevel Ski Resort in the French Alps. This is another airport with a very short runway coming in at 1,762 feet and has an extreme gradient of 18.5%. Most airports have a go-around procedure in case of an aborted landing, but because of the mountainous terrain surrounding the airport, Courchevel does not. So you better get it right the first time. That 18.5% grade creates a difficult approach forcing pilots to make an uphill landing, but taking off is no piece of cake either. The short runway means you better get going fast enough for takeoff otherwise you'll end up falling off the edge of a cliff and if all that wasn't challenging enough the runway doesn't have an instrument approach procedure or runway lights making landings in bad weather or fog and safe and virtually impossible Number 8. Next up, we have Gibraltar International Airport. The History Channel ranked this airport number 5 on its list of most extreme airports in the world due to a strong crosswind that comes around the Rock of Gibraltar and across the bay, which makes the winter landings extremely difficult. But if it ended there, there wouldn't be much more of a reason to be on this list. What makes this airport even more dangerous and extreme is one of its most interesting characteristics, and that is Winston Churchill Avenue. Winston Churchill Avenue is a main road that leads from Gibraltar to its land border with Spain. That interesting little trip includes an intersection that connects with the airport's runway. Yes, you heard that correctly. The road intersects with the runway, meaning the road has to be closed every time there is a landing. No joke, there's actually a stoplight at this intersection letting you know a really huge plane traveling at a very fast pace is coming. So far, this hasn't caused any accidents, but there have been many close calls. Number 7. Next up on our list is probably one of the most remote airports in the world. McMurdo Air Station is located on the south tip of Ross Island in the Antarctic. The runways at the airstrip are all ice, which can make for some very interesting landings. In fact, the remains of a crash that occurred in 1970 still sit off to the side of the strip. The most interesting fact about this airstrip is that because of the perpetual darkness during many months of the year and lack of landing lights, pilots have been trained to land their aircraft at the field using night vision goggles. Number 6. If you haven't seen photographs or videos of Princess Juliana International Airport in St. Martin, then you haven't been on the internet very long. This is probably the most recognizable airport on our list. Its most famous runway, Runway 10, is over water, creating the potential for pilots to become disoriented regarding the perceived altitude while operating under visual flight rules when landing. Now, if you thought landing here was difficult enough, departing is even more difficult, as a pilot must take evasive measures to avoid mountains in the takeoff path. But what makes this runway most famous is how low planes fly over Maho Beach during these landing and departure events. These low flying planes and ease of access to the beach help create some of the most spectacular photo and video moments of planes landing, making this airport one of the world's favorite for plane spotters. All right, guys, we're halfway there, but it's time for a quick poll. Which would you like to see in an upcoming video? The world's most dangerous places on earth or the world's most venomous spiders? Click here to take the poll now. Number 5. Lukla Airport in Nepal is not only dangerous, but it is also considered the most scary airport in the world. If visiting Mount Everest is on your bucket list, then this is the airport where you'll most likely be landing. Situated rather inconveniently between mountains, its incredibly short runway that is only 65 feet wide and 1500 feet long proves challenging to even the most skilled pilot. As you land, you may get a strange feeling as if you're moving uphill. Well, you are. That's because the runway has a 12% grade. That just makes the experience of taking off even more thrilling, as your plane, like a roller coaster plunges downhill towards a 2,000 foot drop into the valley below. Now, accidents at the airport are common. While the airport may close during high winds and poor visibility, the weather in the area is extremely unpredictable and conditions may change from safe to dangerous while already airborne. Number 4. The Marine Corps Air Station in Okinawa, Japan is ranked by the Navy and Marine Corps as the most dangerous air station in the world. The reason being is because it's situated in a densely populated area with over 3,000 people alone living in what is supposed to be a clear zone surrounding airports. This has not only created a cause for concern over the safety and well-being of not only the pilots but the citizens in the area as well. 
The airfields in Greenland are much like the ones in the Antarctic, covered in ice. This airport is considered to be the most difficult runway in the world, with near constant storms in the area creating turbulence and low visibility while approaching. There are also dangerous wind shear that make these ice landings difficult and dangerous. And if that wasn't enough, let's toss in an active volcano that routinely erupts, sending clouds of ash into the air, which can cause the airplane's engines to stall. Number two. This airport, formerly known as Madeira Airport, is located in the Portuguese archipelago of Madeira. It is considered one of the most perilous airports in the world due to its location, its relatively short runway that is surrounded by mountains, and the fix that was implemented to sort all this out. When designers realized that the only solution to extending the runway was to build an artificial island, they came up with an award-winning solution. Seriously, lining 180 columns together to support a runway that withstands serious impact from extremely heavy aircraft numerous times a day landed, pun intended, the design firm, the 2004 Outstanding Structure Award. And now, before we reveal number one on our list of world's most dangerous airports, I would like to thank you for all the comments on our world's most dangerous road video. Be sure to comment below and you just might get included in our next video. Number one. Pero Airport was said to be so dangerous that only eight pilots were qualified to land there. Considered one of the most, if not the most dangerous airport in the world, it sits among the steep Himalayan mountains with peaks up to 18,000 feet high. Now, if that doesn't make the landing difficult enough, planes have to actually weed through the dozens of houses scattered along the mountainside, coming so close they almost nicked the rooftops. And the mountain valleys caused strong winds to whip through them, creating severe turbulence, leading passengers to describe the landings as terrifying. Landing and departing is so difficult at this airport that flights are only allowed during daytime and what is called visual meteorological conditions, meaning they can only land when the pilots can actually make judgments by what they see rather than using instruments. And all this doesn't discourage people from visiting the area. The airport has over 30,000 tourists passing through it each 